In this tip of the day, let's take a look at another powerful feature provided by one CNC, and that's the ability to create a construction plane that's perpendicular to a hole. Now here's the challenge. For this part, we need to convert this hole that's a quarter inch in diameter to 300 thousandths. The problem is we don't know the location of the hole or the angle, but fortunately, using one CNC construction plane tools, we can do that. The first step is to head over to our construction plane tools located in the lower left hand corner and we're going to use this option right here that's going to create a construction plane perpendicular to a hole. Simply take your cursor, digitize any wall of the hole with the left hand mouse click and there you go, there's our construction plane. Now let's move that construction plane a little bit away from the part. We're going to use this tool here which is called the drag tool and we're going to drag that construction plane positive one inch. We'll click OK and there we go, very nice. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to create some geometry to help us locate that new larger 300 thousandths diameter hole. Now the most accurate way to do that when dealing with solid models is to use the section tool. Let's again head down to the lower left hand corner, select the section tool. I'm going to drag this slider here until we get a nice clean cross section. That looks great right about there. So we're going to click add to screen and that's going to create the geometry at that section level. We can close that and there we go. Now it's kind of hard to see that geometry we just created so why don't we project that up onto our construction plane. We can easily do that by selecting that piece of geometry, heading over to the command manager, selecting our model tools, then select smart projection. From there we're going to tell one CNC to take that selected geometry and project it to the construction plane. We'll click OK to that and there we go. Now we can use that to locate the larger hole. Let's head back over to the command manager, go into our circle tools. We're going to make a new circle, 300 thousands in diameter, and I'm going to snap the very center of that arc we just projected. Very, very nice. All we need to do now is head back over to the command manager, go into our extrude tools, use extrude cut, digitize that larger circle, pull it all the way down and left click, and there we go. Now we no longer need that orange geometry so why don't we select all the orange geometry, hit the delete key on the keyboard and there we go. Using one CNC construction plane tools we've taken a task that typically can be tough to do and made it very easy. Alright that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.